Hello guys, this is Manu from Manu Reviews, and today, instead of shitting on something like I, you know, usually do, I will create a tutorial, or do a tutorial on how to edit uh, textures, basically, of Dragon's Dogma Dark Risen for modding scene. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, I know that a lot of people have trouble understanding how and how it basically functions and what you need to do in order to make it work, and another reason that I will mention uh, in the later part of the tutorial. Anyway, the programs you will need is this uh, Dragon's Dogma Dark Horizon Image Viewer basically tool to extract uh, the ARC files and texture files so you can edit them as well as repack them in the end. I will post a link in the description to Nexus page where you can download it and uh, video editing uh, software which any, any software will do as long as it can open BDS files. So I'm using Photoshop at the moment but as long as it as long as the program supports VBS extension, you can use it. So the first thing you need to do is go into your Dragon's Dogma Dark Horizon uh, folder, go to native PC, ROM, and then here you can decide what you want to edit. For the sake of this tutorial, I decided to go to weapons uh, and go to one-handed weapons. Basically, some stuff is named in such a way that you can understand it, like most weapons are named in such a way you can understand them, like one-handed weapons, two-handed weapons, then you have magic bows, magic shields, shields, etc, etc. Uh, but some you will have to, you know, open them and see what they're about. So I decided to uh, use uh, uh, one hand weapon uh, 01 and I cop copied it uh, into this folder here as you can see already. This folder can be anywhere uh, on your computer, you know, just for the ease of editing basically. Now I have the entirety of the game backed up so if I screw up somewhere I can easily go to backup files but if you don't have space on your hard disk I do recommend backing up the original files, uh, you know, just so if some mistakes happen along the way. So once that is done, you will go into the Dragon's Dogma Dark Horizon tool basically, and uh, you will go here to open the arc. So you will find the arc, mine is under Read Textures, Tutorial, and here. You will double click it, or just open it basically, extract it, and then here, uh, beneath it, you will go into this folder, you will go to Model, Weapon, 1, 101 and then will open BM file. Basically if uh, <coughs> these extensions here means you will only need to know BM and e, uh, normal map. Bitmap and normal map. Sometimes there will be CM here. There is no, if there is no BM use the CM uh, underscore CM but mostly it will be BM uh, bitmap. So we'll click that and it will go extract texture. So now that you go into your tutorial you will have extracted folder here right. So we'll go into uh, this folder go the same route and you will have the DDS file here. Uh, you will open that DDS file just normally, whatever. And here you have the texture. Right, uh, you can upscale it, but if you do upscale it, uh, just make sure that you also upscale the... What are you guys? Upscale the normal map so it doesn't do fiddly shit inside the game, right? So once you do that, you can play around uh, any way you want, like uh, auto, uh, auto adjust, you know, uh, brightness and contrast. Maybe uh, change the color of the sword itself or the hilt or whatever. Basically, uh, whatever fits you both. Like, I'm gonna make this a little bit redder. Change the shadows, make it redder. Change the highlights, make it a little bit redderish, and then redder. So basically, I'm done with texturing. So now that I'm done with texturing, what do I do? Uh, if you create the multiple layers, for instance, uh, because you added some parts inside, you know, the original texture, make sure that you merge them all in one to one layer, into background layer. So once you've done that, just click uh, C, uh, Control Save, Control S, and use. Uh, well, I use always one bit alpha, but you can change that depending on. Uh, how you want to do it, just click save, then go back into Dragon's Dogma tool, go repack texture, repack arc, go back into your original files, you can now delete this folder, and this repacked version of the first one you copied is basically the edited version, you go back into your folder, you copy and replace it, and now that's it. This is basically the entire process of retexturing. Now obviously if you want to make better textures you need to upscale, sharpen uh, and do all kinds of crazy stuff that goes into texturing but this is not totally all about that. But this is if simply if you want to change color, maybe add a little bit more detail to it, maybe change something, you know, simple stuff like that. 
from that point on you can just you know do whatever you want and most of the all of the textures uh, basically inside this ROM folder uh, WPS is for weapons uh, there's enemy folder but uh, for some reason I'm still not able to find a walk around because whenever I retexture the enemy the texture inside the game is either kind of fizzly and fuzzy and pixely or completely pink so you know do that at your risk now uh, the second reason why I decided to do this tutorial is because I'm currently uh, working on a project called Retexture Dragon's Dogma where I basically just take these uh, basic textures and add a little bit more color to them add a little bit more flamboyant look quote unquote just change them a little bit so they aren't as dull now uh, at the moment I can't upload that many things because second semester is starting and I'm you know just trying to kind of fit in into that uh, whole that crap so if you do plan on retexturing, I'd really appreciate it if you gave me permission to upload uh, into my own into my own file uh, on Nexus Mods. I'll obviously credit you. Uh, and if you're interested, feel free to message me either here on uh, on YouTube or on uh, Nexus Mods. If you have any questions regarding this tutorial, feel free to message me as well, and I'll do my best to explain what it's all about. Anyway, guys, this has been Man for Man Reviews. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see. You scene, a modding scene of Dragon's Dogma Dark Reason re-embellished re in a sense because this is a great game where uh, mods can really enhance it to the max. Thank you for watching and see you next time.